It started when I was 20 years old, when it started. Because I was trying to cover up the pain and suffering from what I had saw in my family. And then later on, I was molested. When I told my father and mother about it, my um, father took his side. And that just destroyed me. In the effervescent landscape of Hollywood where stars are born overnight, Todd Bridges' story unfolds like a modern day parable, cautioning against the seductive allure of early fame, from his humble beginnings in San Francisco, California, to becoming a national sensation on different strokes. Bridges' journey is a testament to the vicissitudes of Hollywood fortune. That's right. Well, it's your first time here. I want to start in the very beginning. Okay. So you're born and raised in San Francisco? Yes. Bay Area kid just like me. The vibrant young actor, born on May 27, 1965, into a family with modest entertainment roots, was destined to captivate America with his charm and talent. His parents, James and Betty Bridges, both dabbled in acting and later transitioned into roles behind the scenes as managers and agents, providing a nurturing ground for Todd's early interest in the performing arts. I mean, was this something you wanted to do as a kid or something your parents just pushed no, all the kids into? I always wanted to be in show business. The Bridges family relocated to Los Angeles around 1971, a movie that would catapult Todd into the limelight. Before even reaching his teenage years, Todd had appeared in a slew of commercials and TV shows, demonstrating a natural screen presence that belied his young age. His early roles in series like The Waltons, Little House on the Prairie, and the groundbreaking miniseries Roots not only showcased his burgeoning talent, but also exposed him to the complex dynamics of Hollywood. It was in 1978, however, that Todd Bridges' star would truly begin to ascend. Cast in different strokes as Willis Jackson, the older of two African-American brothers adopted by a wealthy white businessman, Bridges became an emblem of charisma and potential. The show, praised for its humorous yet earnest exploration of race, class, and social issues, catapulted him to teen idol status. Yet, beneath the surface of this meteoric rise lay the undercurrents of challenges that would test Bridges' resolve. The industry spotlight, while luminous, cast long shadows of racism and the pressures of early success, trials that Bridges navigated with a grace that belied his years. Yeah, and not just that, we're just over being black. Yeah. That's it, period. I told you when I was 12 years old, I was riding my bike, I got jumped by seven white kids. And I fought my way out of it. Behind the scenes, Todd's life was steeped in the complexities of Hollywood's glitz. His family, though supportive, was deeply entrenched in the entertainment industry's precarious balance of success and struggle. Anecdotes of Todd's early life suggest a young actor acutely aware of the fleeting nature of fame. In interviews, Bridges has spoken candidly about the racism he faced, the daunting expectations placed on young actors, and the personal battles that ensued. Because Hollywood tends to, um, they rise you up to be this person, and then they just, wow! It's gone. Despite the challenges, Todd's natural talent and on-screen charisma endeared him to millions, his portrayal of Willis Jackson resonating with audiences across America. Yet, the very platform that elevated him also exposed him to the industry's darker facets. The pressures of fame at a tender age, coupled with the industry's relentless pace, began to take their toll. Todd's early exposure to the underbelly of Hollywood glamour, parties, expectations to maintain a certain image, and the constant scrutiny planted seeds of discord that would grow in the years to follow. No excuses that I, well, I didn't because you know addicts always have a great excuse or oh, i didn't do it this way or oh, i didn't do it this way i didn't want to leave myself no excuses as todd bridges tenure on different strokes drew to a close in 1986 the curtains didn't just fall on a beloved tv show they marked the beginning of a tumultuous chapter in the actor's life the transition from child star to adult actor proved more challenging than anticipated unraveling the complexities of fame and personal struggle with the show's conclusion, Todd found himself grappling with the weight of expectations and the looming specter of typecasting. Despite his undeniable talent, casting directors struggled to envision him beyond the iconic Phyllis Jackson, confining Todd within the confines of a character he had long outgrown. As Hollywood's fickle gaze turned elsewhere, Todd faced the daunting prospect of reinvention amid a landscape fraught with uncertainty. But it wasn't just professional hurdles that Todd encountered post different strokes. Personal demons lurked in the shadows, threatening to engulf him in a downward spiral. The pressures of fame coupled with unresolved traumas and the unrelenting pace of Hollywood created a perfect storm of internal turmoil. When the show got canceled is when my whole life fell apart because everything caught up with me. Todd candidly confessed in a recent interview, shedding light on the pivotal moment that precipitated his descent into darkness. You can't find anybody safe. Hmm. There's no one safe. Yeah. I didn't have my father safe. Me and my mom, were, weren't, we were safe when we weren't with my dad. When my dad was there, we didn't feel safe. For Todd, the years following the show's conclusion became a blur of addiction and legal troubles, a harrowing journey through the darkest recesses of fame's underbelly. 
The allure of substances, a siren's call beckoning solace amidst the chaos, became a coping mechanism for the pain that simmered beneath the surface. No one ever goes into addiction thinking that you're going to get addicted to substances. You do it to cover the pain up. Todd reflected, offering a poignant glimpse into the abyss of addiction. The descent into addiction was not instantaneous, but a gradual succumbing to the pressures and traumas that had accumulated over years. I was a, I was a, a kid. If you think about this, my father was also abusive growing up to me and my mom. Todd's struggles were compounded by a series of personal setbacks. The sexual abuse he suffered at the hands of family friend and publicist, the disbelief of his father when he sought help and the eventual divorce of his parent. It was a dark period in my life, Bridges confessed, reflecting on his battle with addiction. But I knew I had to find the strength to overcome it, not just for myself, but for those who believed in me. But the pain proved too formidable a foe, driving Bridges deeper into the clutches of addiction. The allure of substances offered fleeting solace from the relentless barrage of inner turmoil, a temporary reprieve from the demons that tormented him. Yet, with each hit, Bridges found himself sinking further into the abyss, his once promising future slipping through his trembling fingers like grains of sand. My dad was the kind of guy who was more about the money than anything else, so he was just all about what this guy, money this guy can make for that guy, so. Amidst the haze of substance abuse, Todd found himself ensnared in the tendrils of the law, grappling with legal battles that threatened to eclipse his once promising career. The headline spoke of the assassination charge in 1988, a stark reminder of the shadows that haunted Todd's past. Yet, amidst the turmoil, glimmers of hope emerged, punctuating the darkness with the promise of redemption. It wasn't until a court-ordered stint in rehab in 1993 that Todd began to confront the demons that had long held him captive. I woke up one day and decided things had to be a little different, Todd recounted, recalling the pivotal moment that served as a catalyst for change. In the hallowed halls of rehabilitation, amidst the echoes of his past, Todd found the strength to confront his addiction and chart a course towards recovery. The road to recovery was fraught with obstacles, a treacherous path lined with pitfalls and setbacks. Yet, with unwavering determination, Bridges confronted his demon's head, on emerging from the crucible of addiction stronger and more resilient than ever before. When you're in your 20s and you have a big diaper on and you are on a hit show, there has to be a change in your life, he declared with conviction. Professionally, Bridges sought to reinvent himself, taking on roles in various TV shows and films throughout the 1990s and 2000s. While these roles may not have recaptured the fame of his different strokes, days, they represented something far more significant, a step toward reclaiming his identity beyond the shadow of Willis Jackson. His stint on Everybody Hates Chris from 2005-2006, while brief, was a testament to his enduring talent and versatility as an actor. I worked on, I've done over, I've done over at least 200 commercials. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I did a, I remember, you know, because of this milk commercial, I loved milk so much. Beyond acting, Todd Bridges has dedicated himself to advocacy and motivational speaking, drawing on his experiences to guide others away from the pitfalls of addiction and trauma. His work as a life coach and personal trainer, coupled with his involvement in his children's lives and community sports, reflects a man who has found solace in service and family. Bridges' transformation from troubled child star to a beacon of hope and resilience is a narrative that resonates with many who have faced their demons and emerged stronger. In recent years, Todd Bridges ventures into streaming on Twitch and his continued work in television, including appearances on shows like Celebrity Big Brother, signal a man who has not only survived Hollywood's crucible, but has thrived beyond it. Today, Todd Bridges stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a survivor of Hollywood's unforgiving terrain. His journey, marked by triumphs and tribulations, serves as a cautionary tale and a beacon of hope for those navigating the treacherous waters of fame. Never give up on your child. But also, you have to love your child, Todd implored, offering sage advice garnered from his own tumultuous odyssey. As Todd continues to chart his course in Hollywood's ever-shifting landscape, his story remains a poignant reminder of the complexities of fame and the resilience of the human spirit. In the crucible of adversity, Todd Bridges emerged not as a victim of circumstance, but as a phoenix rising from the ashes, his journey a testament to the transformative power of redemption. You know what I mean? Um... But, I, but it's like, I don't need it anymore. I don't need it to, I'm not trying to escape my feelings anymore. I know my feelings now. I know who I am. As we delve into the public perception surrounding Todd Bridges' tumultuous journey, we encounter a kaleidoscope of sentiments that reflect the profound impact of his story on fans across the globe. Todd Bridges went through a rough time finding himself, but has come through a good man. Kudos to him for his strength and best wishes for continued success, remarked one admirer, encapsulating the prevailing sentiment of admiration and respect for Bridges' resilience. Indeed, Todd's odyssey from the heights of early fame to the depths of addiction and back again serves as a testament to the indomitable human spirit. For many, Bridges is more than just a former child star. He's a symbol of perseverance in the face of adversity. I love Todd Bridges. I grew up watching him. He has always been a great actor, 
expressed another fan echoing the sentiments of countless viewers who have been captivated by Bridges' on-screen charisma. As we reflect on his evolution from child star to beacon of hope, we invite you to share your thoughts. What lessons do you draw from Todd's resilience? And how do you envision his future in Hollywood? Leave your comments below and join us in celebrating Todd Bridges' inspiring odyssey. Until next time, stay tuned for more captivating stories from the world of entertainment.